We're going to start programming with Penguin, and I'm using Penguin version 0.12, available at penguin.googlecode.com. We've used a number of commands previously to control the Penguin, things like forward and left. And we were able to use these commands because we knew the names of them. For instance, we knew that the name of the command that moves the Penguin forward is forward, and the name of the command that turns the Penguin to the left by a certain number of degrees is left. And we also uh, learned that there are some shortcuts, some different uh, names for these commands. For instance, FD is the same thing as forward. You can actually create your own shortcuts. Like, let's say you're always forgetting that FD is forward and you call it FWD. What you could do is you could create a new name and use the equal sign to just point that at another name. Notice that we're not using the parentheses here. We're not calling this command. We're just using the name of it. What this is doing, it's creating a new name, FWD, and equals is connecting this name to the object that this name points to. So now we have a new name, a new shortcut for forward, and it's called FWD. So FWD 300 is exactly the same as calling forward 300. You can also give names to other things like numbers. So you might do something like distance equals 200, and then forward, and then instead of saying forward 200, you could say forward distance. And what that does is it just replaces uh, distance, the value of distance, which is 200, and then it calls the uh, function forward. And so that's exactly doing like doing uh, forward 200. You might wonder why you'd want to do something like this. Uh, let's go ahead and reset, and we'll create a new program. Let's say you want to make a line of squares. So we'll say square 50 and then forward 50. And this is um, a loopable piece of code, kind of like we've done before. So if I hit test run several times, it's going to make a line of squares. And since it goes forward the same distance as the size of the square, these uh, squares will be connected together. Now let's say we wanted to make different size squares. What we could do is we could go through here and every place where we see 40 we could go up to 60. Of course then we have to change this also. We have to make sure that we replace the uh, values every place where the value is. And that's, um, that's error prone because we might miss one or we might make a typo. So what we could do instead is say make up a new variable, a new um, name. Let's say size equals 60. And then every place where we wanted to use that value, we could say size. And this works exactly the same way as when uh, we just put the number directly in there. But now, anytime we wanted to change the size of the squares, we could just come up here, change it, and it'll change it every place where the value size is used. It's quicker, it's less uh, error prone, and it's a useful technique. You may have noticed that I called this value here, this uh, size, a variable. Right now it's not really variable, it's always the same. Every time that I run this code, it's always going to make uh, squares of size 20, because it never changes. But what we could do is, we could make it so that every time this code runs, this value changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to take the old value, so we're going to start a new, a new name, a new variable, size, and we're going to use the old value, so it used to be 20, so we're going to replace this size with the old value, and we're going to add 10 to it. So now size is going to be 20 plus 10, or 30. So every time it runs now, it's going to be increased by 10. So if we run it again, it'll be 40. So let's run it now. So there's one that's 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So every time it runs, size is 10 more than it used to be. And you can actually, down here, you can type in size and see what the value is. So let's run it uh, three more times. One, two, three, and let's check what size is, 120. So now uh, it really is a variable. Usually with Python, what you would do is, if a value is going to be the same all the time, a constant, you would write it all in caps. So let's say size equals 30, and then you could 
It's not necessary. Um, it's just a convention in Python for things that are going to be constant to be put in all caps like that. It's just a little bit of a signal to yourself and to whoever reads your program that this value is a constant and it shouldn't change at all. Well, let's go back to using size as a variable. So what we could do now is we could say set an initial si uh, value for the size. Let's say size equals 30. And then every time we run this code, it's going to increase size by 10. And so we're going to get a, a line of squares that are increasing in size like that. What we could do this, uh, any kind of math operation that you wanted to do, you could, you could do that here. So let's say instead of adding 10 each time, let's divide size by 2. So let's set an initial size, let's say size equals 100. Okay. Now every time it comes through now, it's going to make the squares half as big. Let's try this. So there's 50, 25. Eventually you'll get, um, actually very quickly, they'll get so small that it won't actually make any difference. Let's divide by a little bit less. Let's divide by, let's try 1.2. So we'll set our initial size, and let's try this. There we go. A little more interesting. Kind of looks like a line of boxes disappearing off into the uh, into the distance in the horizon. This style of writing this, where you say size equals size divided by 1.2, that's kind of an old style way of uh, writing this. Uh, it's pretty clear exactly what you're doing, but uh, most people these days would write this like this. You just say size divided by equals 1.2. So basically just says uh, take the size variable and divide it by 1.2. Um, there's no difference really in how it performs or how it, how it works. It's just um, it's a little bit better because you don't have to write the name of the variable twice, whereas here you'd have the same name written twice and it, you could make a typo or you could um, you know let's say you wanted to change the name of this you have to go through and change it in two places so it's better to write it like this uh, divided by equals and you can do the same thing uh, so this runs exactly the same way so you start off with uh, whatever the size is and then every time it runs uh, it just divides the value by 1.2 you can do the same thing with plus or minus so now every time it comes through it's adding 1.2. Exactly the same thing, it's just a better style and it's better to, to write this this way as opposed to the other way. Okay, this video is getting kind of long so I'll stop here. Just give these things a try and come back for the next video. Thanks for watching.